uh, Genja players. So in the top left hand corner, we do have the Alzerg, who has successfully won two games so far, and will he win the third game against MYI's Jarchi? It is to be untold yet. It is Cascades Minento. I cannot say that name right. <laughs> 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 you continue and trying to say a better every game, but it just ain't working here. Come on. Hopefully he wins another couple of times to give me more chances. And in the top right hand corner, we do have the one and only famous Blue Town player that does play for Man Sanity. It is Jack G. So, I mean, do you have any specific uh, thoughts on this map at all? Or especially for ZVT? Or so just kind of like it? Specifically for ZVT, I would say that it's uh, maybe a lot of the maps that we've played on the night have been sort of Zerg favoured, especially against Protoss. But on this sort of map, especially with a player of Jackie's standards. I'm going to say that he'll probably go for this in this rally. And on this map that is so short, and there's so much paths you can cross, yeah. and the concaves that he will be able to get against his Zerg Rochager army, or his Zerg Ling being Muta, it's going to be very, very interesting. Yeah, um, the, as well, the low ground behind that gold mineral line is so... It's such a position the Terran aims to hit as well, because if the Zerg does try and take that gold base as the Terran, you want to take the gold base for yourself and then stop the Zerg's gold base too. And that can be very, very powerful if you could take control of that low ground. And uh, I mean, just to reference Scott versus Bomber, that's exactly what we saw taking place all the time. Bomber was always coming through here, he was always attacking into that gold base. And Scott had to play extremely uh, well and very, very hard to be able to, you know, shut that down and, um, you know, keep pushing him back and keep her third base alive and mining. Until it was mined out. We see a free hatch before pool, pool here by Minato. So oh. he's not going to take a gas before his pool. But I mean, free hatches on the way up. A really greedy play. And you know, against the uh, CC first of uh, Jachi, he is a uh, SCV scout now. I think this is working brilliantly because, I mean, the third base is at the gold as well. So he's going to have such a great economy uh, straight away. He definitely is getting all the tools ready that he is going to need to be able to beat Jachi with this free hatch before pool. That is going to give him such a leading economy. So he will have that the MBS just drummed up quite fast, and he probably will made open roaches or a lot of queens to be able to defend against the Hallians. But I can't say he will have saturation on these bases quite fast, in my opinion. And with that, it's going to allow him to keep dealing with Jaggi's harassment. So I think we'll have to settle down for a nice, interesting game here that's going to go on. Yeah, and uh, Jachi's going to start up his factory. I mean, he's uh, already he already decided to take his uh, barracks gas. I mean, he can still go for very fast third CC from this position. He moves uh, that command center down to the lower ground. Now he can start a bunker up on the uh, natural ramp as well if he wants to be very safe. But he's okay. He's going to go for a very greedy play overall, uh, I assume. I, I would highly doubt him to drop a second gas now and to go into Hellion Vanshee. Yeah. I just assume we're going to see a third CC. And um, especially if he comes here and now and scouts this uh, third hatchery because... He saw that the pool was very late, so he knows it's up and he knows what's happening. He does see that third base as well, so he knows exactly what's happening. His phone third base now on the way, and we are going to see a very heavily uh, macro oriented game here. And this is actually very, very cute with the six drones that he did have on the natural. He did move them over to the third base to get that gold base saturated as fast as possible to get all their minerals. So that was yeah. actually quite a cute, cute move. He knows, that what, he knows what he's doing. Yeah. Yes. I mean, this map's been on the ladder for about a week now, I suppose. Um, I'm not actually too sure when the uh, ladder started, but it's been there for about a week, and um, you know, it's been seen before as well. Players knew about this map, so in general, they've already started to figure out what strategies work, what they can get away with. And the thing is, for now, what's less likely is people don't know how to punish it because it's very easy to say, "Hey, I'm going to do this, and I can, I can do this." But what people will take a little bit long to find out is, "Hey, if he does do that, how do I punish that?" So. Yeah. I'm sure as uh, time goes on, we're actually going to see, if anything, for this map more than any other, a big change in kind of what the meta game is on it and what actually happens very frequently, uh, and so on. So, and I was, right now. I was correct Sorry. with his opening there of actually going roaches. I knew that, would, especially with free hats before pull, you need to be very, very safe against these them hellions because they do yeah. an extremely massive amount of damage because you're not going to add a gas on with that build, so then roaches are extremely important. But it's actually moving out with the Hellions quite fast, so it looks like he may take some damage here. Yeah. Um, you know, I think he's going to be okay. Spine crawl on the high ground, some lingers to buy time is all he really needs, and oh. just to block these uh, Hellions back a little bit. He does have link speed on the way, which would suggest he's not going to overly commit to these roaches unless he goes for a, a roach bailing zergling attack or a roach zergling attack um, and go for an all in. 
And with 11 roaches on the way, that's actually a huge possibility. And Jachi is actually going for his double engineering bay after the uh, three barracks. And it is actually going to be a roach bay and an all-in. So yeah. a very fast economy and then just trying to hit as hard and as fast as he can with a big all in. This is going to hit so early on and Jachi is very close to spotting it as these Hellions continue to move around. Now the thing is for him, four roaches alone can just be defensive roaches and it, as he sees roach speed, well actually he sees a few more than four roaches now, so now he's probably oh. thinking exactly what's going on and he's uh, going to start moving back and look at that. Immediately three, three bunkers, bunkers on the way but is it going to be enough? There's not many units out here for him just four yet. bunkers coming down now. Yeah, this, this is, is going to uh, be insane, the vault here. Yeah, this is, uh, I don't know, I mean, still four bunkers, I mean, with nothing in them, they don't do too good. A single Marauder's at the top here right now, and we're going to have to wait for these Bailins to morph in, I suppose. This natural is very, very tight. It's very kind of uh, shallow, and, oh. uh, you know, it's quite hard to actually get anything done. And the wall actually goes down here, which is going to make it even easier to bust through and uh, bust oh. up there. Uh, these uh, Balans are going to start rolling in. These bunkers are very close to each other as well, and the Balans are doing a lot of damage. Jachi is in trouble as his uh, SCVs are being pulled. There's still two bunkers remaining, but SCVs are doing a good job. Uh, Balans are doing a good job of taking them down. The SCVs not going to get taken down. It will be the bunkers instead. And the Dem problem is has now, finished, and he is just trying to hold on here with dear life. But I don't think he can actually do it. He I, does not yeah, have enough I, units. I think there's just too many roaches, and the problem is with roaches, you can't kill them with a small amount of. Uh, Units and especially with the links, which are just going to keep on reinforcing with no bunkers here, it's going to be very hard. He's doing a good job, but only because he's losing all of his SCVs and uh, more of them still going down. There's still units left over, as um, he might just about clean this up until the next wave comes, but uh, still having to trade very kind of inefficiently. Another bunker on the way up here, Jachi doing his best to try and hold on. 15 SCVs down, he can come back from this if he gets time, but Bainan's coming in still, Ling's killing off more depots. Uh, the 1-1 one, one might finish, uh, I think um, yep. Minato could have uh, targeted that down a bit faster if he'd wanted to, but he won't here. But, uh, that was a very, very interesting, as I was saying, you just don't know what's going to come out of this third player. Yeah, this, uh, these Bainans are coming up the ramp, and I mean, oh, oh well. The mains. Yeah, mines are going to actually clean them up, and these Zerglings, I mean, they take down an engineering bay, but eventually here, Jachi does hold on. Yeah, he caught it a little bit better and make run them into that force there. Because I he... think... I think the thing is, if Minato, Minato obviously he lost a lot because of them two mines. Yeah. If he just made drones, then he would actually be so far ahead right now. Whereas as it stands, Jachi with three uh, CCs yeah. is still in a position where he can come back, and Minato is still making units, and he can't afford to just throw these away right now. Um, because I mean, this bio army should be able to kill it off. I think. Um, I mean, it's not the biggest bio army, but it's pretty decent. That's being said, more roaches still coming in, so we're still going to keep trading here. Mines are still continuously adding on damage, and Minato is still just trying to trade. That S and uh, CC at the natural is burning down. Yeah, combat just goes down. Yeah, yeah combat oh, just goes oh, down. More links still oh. streaming in. Jachi is losing more and more SCVs. His army is still just holding on, but it's getting lower and lower in HP, and some more mines coming out. His production continues. A medevac about to come down out as well, which will help. And again, Jachi should just about hold on here. Could this be his saving uh, grace, this medevac? Yeah. What, what I do like, though, is um, what Minato is now deciding to do. He's drawn up a little bit, and he starts roach speed, and he starts bane in speed. So he's going to keep on with the heavy aggression kind of army. He's going to keep on with this army, which trades very, like, just trades a lot. And I think that's a good style to go for when your opponent, he doesn't have... Um, a lot of SCVs because he's going to have to keep on trading. He doesn't have a, an economy to keep rebuilding. And I mean, compared to say Minato going mutualisks now, for example, if Jatch just puts up some turrets and plays defensively, he can rebuild his SCVs and his economy and come back into this a little bit. Whereas with this time, Minato will go for. He'll keep on trading, and, and well, I, I just think it gives him a bit of a better chance to uh, close out this game. Jatch right now is sitting at 34 SCVs behind. But to be quite honest. Uh, there's been a lot of Terran players in many, many competitions where they've been on free CC and managed to hold the all in. We've taken massive, massive damage, but have managed to come back. Because they've got free CCs up, and that's a yeah. really important thing to keep in your mind here. He's definitely not out of this. Just Minato, and especially not if he does drops like this as oh. well. Pulling Minato back in that main base, and at the same time looking to harass this gold. Now, uh, the gold's not going to be able to go down here. These Lings are well prepared to deal with that, but harassment's still going on. Jachi loses a few of the units from the Medivac at the natural. So, uh, this will be shut down in the end here. 
Uh, keeps his other medevac dropping still though. Oh, he's but, uh, medevac. Yeah, he loses that medevac. He loses the units inside of it. He's still trying to hold on, but I mean, Minato is going to move across the map here again, and this time with road speed, his reinforcements come in faster with Bane and speed too. But look at the minefield. Oh, is that um, that's some World War Two stuff there. He's not going to be able to cross that over taking massive damage. Yeah, this is the problem. I mean, Jachi's still in a fairly good defensive position. I mean, his supplies are still very far behind, but he's ahead in upgrades. He's starting up a tank now, so he's starting to get a good composition against this. Some Marines micro in here trying to take down some uh, Bayonets, and well, these Bayonets are going to start rolling. All these mines going to be enough? That's the question. And as these mines start to go off and die, it doesn't look like it will be because these few units, well, there's so many roaches, and there's just no answer to them at all. And I mean, this tank may pop out, but it's going to go down very quickly here, and I, I mean, Jachi just doesn't have the numbers. The upgrades aren't going to come into play if he doesn't have the numbers. And he's going to lose even more SCVs once again. And uh, these units are kind of trapped. I mean, they can pick up the medevacs and leave, but Jachi knows it's uh, kind of uh, futile at this point. A tank does siege up, and uh, these roaches will be able to come and take that down. Still more links streaming across the map to hit that natural. All the mines have been cleared out as well, which is very important to note. And it looks as though Jachi won't make a comeback in this game. I mean... That gold based economy just a little bit too much for Minato, uh, for Minato to uh, lose this. And, yeah. uh, I mean, his gold base is about a uh, mine out, so if Jachi had maybe held on that little bit longer, taking that little bit less damage, maybe he could have, but well, he's actually still holding on here as he kills all of them Zerglings. He just does not want to die. <laughs> no, I mean, 2 1 Bio is very good against Zerglings, of course. Um, Extremely good. I mean, he's, he's still holding on, and again, Minato is losing this third base economy now. Them gold minerals are mining out, so. And Maybe there's still the tiniest of chance for Jachi here. As, and he also uh, does not have a four base, so this got, he could win this. Well. Yeah, if he seeds up tanks, if he gets at least two tanks out. If, yeah, are he gonna can become... slowly push over to the uh, gold base of his own. Like maybe. Maybe, maybe. I I mean it's kind of so hard to say, you can't say anything for sure still. Minato's still going for an attack though. He's finally teched into the spire, but still no upgrades, which are going to keep on hurting him in this game. Yeah. A medevac comes out here to scout a little bit, and uh, a mine will probably get some okay shit. It doesn't actually do too much. These uh, units, a lot of Balin's starting to go down here very quickly. Still, again, once again, so many roaches. SCVs having to be pulled. The Balin's do all survive for now. These roaches are going to start trading. The uh, CC has to lift up. He has to well, get the fire tank. These upgrades do such a good job, but Bailings kill off a lot of the Marines, and that may make the difference. But still, that tank on the high ground, and again, Jachi holds on, and he's still only 30 SCVs behind here. He still has his three CCs. He drops a load of mules, and he's still holding on. He's killing off some overlords, and Minato still can't find a way to kill him. And you just gotta think: has he thrown? Too many small armies at him instead of just drone into 70, taking a fall, and then throwing a huge army at him. It's just that to the point where we're basically right now. The, the I mean, free look at resources system. lost. The resources lost tells the story of this game where the Zerg has thrown army after army against Jachi, who's traded very well. And it's very close because Jachi has been very limited on mining because of his SCVs, but now without, with that third base only just coming back up from Minato after his gold mines out, He's kind of finding himself in trouble. Eleven um, mutilisks are on the way, and uh, it's kind of hard to say. As um, I mean, the mutilisks will help clean up these drops, but two of them actually go down again. Them upgrades. The yeah, them upgrades uh, are just allowing the power for you. Another job at the far base, just continuing to do his famous harassment, and it is doing quite well, but. The Muta Snipe and the Matavax, he cannot really be affording to do that. He needs every unit that he possibly can Jachi's, get. Jachi's uh, landed his third base over here. He's finally about to get combat shields in, which is amazing. He's traded this efficiently without combat shields. There's a lot of links right now. I'm not sure if he can really fight without some kind of uh, Sim City to help himself against these Zergans. Again, he's got such good upgrades, though, and with three tanks sieged, they do so much damage as well. And this bio army is still very scary, and Jachi has moved himself over to a place where he can defend this third base, and he's going to start mining off of gold of his own, which is something Minato, again, doesn't have anymore. And Minato, I mean, he still comes with an advantage right now, kind of, but I can't help but feel that upgrades for the bio, uh, the Terran player are actually giving him, kind of just dis uh, disarming Minato's um, advantage, maybe. He does get a nice pick-off here. Picking off a reactor is huge when uh, Jachi only has three barracks. This four, is... Uh, an amazing match, which kind of jaw dropping. Both players are trying their very, very best here to get this win. 
Yeah, it's right. coming to sort of a point where it's just going to be the person yeah, who does I, the better engagement that, wins. Well, I, I don't know. I think the problem is Minato is kind of running out of time because he just he's never thought about it going this long. He's never thought about the fact that he's going to end up with 0-0 zero, zero against now 3-1 yeah. on the way. So the problem is, I mean, he's got these mutas out. Yes, he's finally got a, some kind of tech in He does actually pick up a medevac, which is very nice for him. But there's still this problem where he doesn't have the upgrades and the bio trades very evenly. And, I mean, he has to buy time now with his mutas to find a way back to compensate for that upgrade deficit. Because Jachi, I mean, Jachi still doesn't have that many SCVs. He's still only on 29, but he does have triple mule. And he does have a gold base. And to be honest, he doesn't need any more SCVs because he's not really got any more minimal patches. Yep. And his other player has a lot of billions here with Roach. And to be honest, as soon as Siege tanks, which are constantly being produced here, get the get the volleys off, which are going to end up doing, the billions and Roaches are just going to get roasted. And I honestly just feel like here that this is just going to do his last run. He's going to end up running in here in these Siege tanks with enough Marines to be able to hold it back. Yeah, I mean, I mean this Roach bailing force is still quite scary, but with so many tanks, yeah. it just goes down so quickly. And I mean, tanks are always the answer to Roaches. They're always the answer to kind of heavy bailings as well. And with enough Marines, as long as the Marines don't die, the Mutalisks will not be able to clean up. So it's still very close. I mean, we're still seeing 50 army supply deficit for Jachi, but still that 2-1 uh, upgrade advantage with that plus 3 on the way. And uh, Minato is still looking for a way in here because running into a defensive position is definitely one way he can throw away his army advantage, which is something he can't really afford to do. As Jachi still looks to continue dropping, these mutilists look and ah, oh. the mutilists find that drop straight away. Oh. Jachi gets so unlucky with the last two drops he's tried to go for. The meter count is getting really, really high now. Right now, we are up to let's see if I can do math. Twenty meters. Um, yeah. Yeah. So Twenty meters. Right to now. Another base coming up from Minato in the bottom left of the map. I mean, his main base is mined out. His natural is mining out, so he needs it quite desperately. Um, so that base, I mean, he's going to get it up. He's doing, done a good job of shutting down the drops from Jachi, so Jachi's not been able to really deny these bases. I'd like to see him kind of fly around with the mutas over the tanks a bit more, because, I mean, if their mutas were there right now, they'd be able to get one, two tanks for free, and yeah. that's something that he's not really trying to abuse enough, I think with uh, these Mutalisks, and I mean, he sees the opportunity, but five Marines, they go down very quickly, and just sniping even one, two tanks at a time here is a way he can finally find a way to engage with this army, but Jachi still just macroing and still only on 32 SCVs, but with that gold base, things become much easier for him. His plus three completes as well, so his army becomes even more efficient at this point. But I can't help but feel like if he catches Jachi on creep with that amount of billions that he has right now, and he, even if he continues to morph more, this should be a very, very short, a very, very short engagement because the creep spread is insanely good, as we see it is soon enough coming to Jackie's fourth, and if it starts covering the map and then Jackie's trying to move it, he's going to straight every drop that comes out on the map, and he's going to be holding Jackie in his base. So Jackie is going to have an uphill battle as he continue to fade from holding the all in, but it's just starting to get a little bit harder and harder for him to come back, as his other players just taking bases all around him right now. Yeah, and I mean, 1 1's finally on the way for the Zergs. He's finally shutting down this upgrade gap as well. Um, Jackie's trying to land his main base uh, over here, and uh, dropship is spotted, so I mean, that drop's going to die. Uh, meters are already on the way over to shut that down, so again, Jackie cannot catch a moment to actually get out here on the map with these drops, which is um, a bit of a shame. These mirrors might miss it, actually. Um, which way does he go? He actually goes back up. See, so things Jachi retreated, so Minato is slightly outplayed there. Um, he actually will turn around, so he's still potentially going to maybe find this. Um, and with a boost coming down, no, no, it looks as though it will just get away. No, the Mio finds it. He sees it. So, I mean, that job will get cleaned up, but uh, I mean, he stops Jachi still denying him from making extra bases. Um, but he can't attack into Jachi, and Jachi can't take another base. So we kind of get to this point where it's a stalemate, and it does start to look better for the Zerg as his upgrades roll in. He has a bank to remax with as well. Yep. Jachi's slowly moving forward with tanks to look to try and take this, what's now his fourth base, with still just his original command center. And mules immediately drop down, so he's going to have a lot of money very quickly, and this should be enough to get him up to max. At which point he's got a scary army with them upgrades. Yeah, I and mean, this series lane, is, with that many series tanks, it's just going to be unstoppable. That Zerg cannot push for and deal damage to that army. He has to wait until Jachi pushes out. That is his only option. Yeah, he, he can't run into it until Jachi <laughs> moves out himself. Again, I feel like he could maybe try and get them siege tanks with the mutas a little bit more because he really hasn't done that at all quite yet. And with this number of mutas, I mean, 
if you look to the south side, there's what about five marines here, five marines yeah. there. He could take them out so quickly, or even just a medevac. And that's the problem. He's not being traded with these muters, so he could do a little bit more. I think he's going to go for a big, fully fledged attack down to the bottom side oh. here. Jachi, a lot of his tanks are out of position, and a lot of these tanks going down as well. So it looks as though Minato is going to keep on going with this. So many muters in the sky, so many tanks are going down. Is there going to be? Uh, Sorry, not fair. Too much. I don't. I don't know. I mean, look at Minato's supply plummet down to 120. Oh. Oh. But look at that Remax on 10 Ultralists. Uh, I think this is last legs for Jaxi right now. He's only be able to get this fourth yeah, base. Yeah, I mean, this fourth base is now up for him and it's mining, but 10 Ultras are coming in and Minato is not going to waste any more time. He's going to attack straight away. During that fight, he did a great job of targeting down tanks, so he's really reset the tank numbers a little bit here. Yep. And Jaxi doesn't have enough tanks to defend both the third at the gold and the fourth base, so he's going to start finding himself spread very thinly. And I think still Minato... I still think he's got this. I still think Jachi is doing a great job holding on, but I just still don't think he's got enough unless he can find another way to surprise us. A dropship in the main base sees these ultralisks, so now Jachi knows, right, I need to do something about this. Like, I, I need an answer to these ultras, and I need it fast. 2-2 two is about to finish up here, and that's now going to be 2-2 two two against 3-2. So, I mean, finally the upgrades are coming to a point where it's even. Yeah, and we do see that Jachi does throw down a tag lab, two tag labs that he trying to produce his best to try and get barracks so with Tark Labs they had them all important marauders out to build hold this. And yeah, this is I, I, I didn't know what to say. Like this game is just crazy right now. Jachi is look just looking for ways to hang on. He's gonna be able to deny mining from this base if he does uh, drop onto it. He sees the creep there, so that's gonna be good for him. But can he hold on from these ultralisks and muters right now? This is what he needs to do. He needs to hold this attack and he's got so many tanks spread to the top side that it might be very difficult oh. for him. We're gonna see the engagement right now. These muters are coming in, the ultras are coming in, and they're ripping through these marines and is it going to be enough? Jachi is trying to step backwards, tanks are going down, they're targeted by the muters and these marines, they're doing a good job though, coming up to the natural, but the fourth base is going to lose the uh, SEVs there. The tanks are cleared up to the top side, the ultras chasing the natural will go down, but the muters will be enough to clean up and the medevacs will go down. And it looks as though Jachi is broken, it looks as though Minato, after 31 minutes, is finally going to be able to take him down here. But I mean, what a game it has been and what a hold by Jachi up to this point. Minato just, in the end, able to do enough. And I mean, both, I think... Uh, Minaro, he made some mistakes. He overcommitted a lot to his free base all in with the roads with the Bailings. And uh, Jachi did a very good job of holding on with that as well. But in the end, I mean, Minaro, he still just had enough of an advantage here to take this down. He did a great job of shutting down the drops. The drops doing a lot of damage on the other side of the map. It's killed off a base. It's doing some extra damage as well. But Jachi's losing absolutely everything. And down on 60 supply, Minato is going to take Mines uh, sorry, Cascade into a free one advantage right now for Cascade, so